What's up guys, so today is indeed the solar eclipse where I'm going to view and film it. Where I'm sitting right here, this area will be viewing a partial eclipse. But first, let's check the weather. It looks to be mostly sunny despite a few clouds. That's great weather for viewing the sun, unless some annoying cloud blocks the sun at 2.42 p.m. Hopefully not. I have these special eclipse classes for viewing the eclipse right here. So right here, all you have to do you put these on, you just look at the sun. All you see is just blackness and just one just big orange dot. And, and then when that the time comes, you'll see the crescent, which will be really cool. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the time is 12.45 right now, and we are now getting ready to view the eclipse, which starts in 15 minutes right now. So, here is my sister. So we are working on the eclipse. She's getting the shot. And the sun is way up there. And the moon... Who knows where it is, but we're getting set up and we're going to start looking at the eclipse pretty soon. So I think the eclipse starts at 1 and then it goes from 1 to 4. The, the most, the, any 1% of the sun will be higher than the moon will be at 12, will be at 242. And so yeah, so we're just going to, we're just waiting, getting the shot ready and then we'll have it ready to go. But right now it's pretty, it's probably partly sunny right now. So I mean hopefully it the clouds didn't cover the sun right at like the peak of the eclipse here, so hopefully not. So right now it is about it is 1:32 right now, and right up the, I, when I, I looked at my glasses, my solar glasses, and I see a little sliver of the moon peeking through uh, of the sun, but it's too small to show on cameras because camera's not very good right now. It won't show very well, but in maybe like probably like 30 minutes, I can probably show you guys. So right now, as we're so the moon is still peaking, uh, peaking to make a little bit of a crest, a big crescent on the, uh, on the sun. Um, Sarah here was able to take a picture of it with her camera. So right now it's the cloud, but um, get that cloud past and we'll take some more pictures. So I get this my phone on this tr on this uh, selfie stick thing. I look up. There's a big cloud covering the sun, so I can't be with those glasses. So. We just have to wait for the cloud to clear. It is now two o'clock. This is what the sun looks like on Sarah's camera. So it is now two o'clock. We got 45 minutes until, about 45 minutes until we can see 81% of the moon covered the sun. So it is hot out here. That's why we have water bottles. You anything to comment, Sarah? No. Oh, good point. If you guys didn't notice already, the sun is slowly moving toward these trees over here. So right now we're gonna move over. Okay, so as I'm looking at the shadows from the eclipse, it's almost like I can see some sort of moon shape from these like leaf shadows. I don't know if it's just me or 221 right now and the sun's way up there, but on Sarah's camera you can see it better. We'll show you that little the, the latest picture right now. Um so right now it seems like the leaves are just we can see some sort of crest in a little bit, but I think when at 2.42, we'll probably see it better. This is the brightness of the sun. When I try to do it on my GoPro or my phone, it doesn't, the brightness is too bright to see the moon um, pass by the sun. That's probably what, that's probably why it's not working. So I was able to finally get this, uh, the pitch with my picture on my phone with the sun up there so here's a picture right now so you can see a little bit of the crescent there um but right now it's 2 30 right now and we're about 15 minutes away from 81 percent of the sun being covered by the moon so that'll be pretty cool oh we'll be on a cloud again <laughs> it only went at the top part of the cloud so i guess it'll be out of it soon oh we have a huge cloud coming here but oh my gosh look the camera lens is reflecting off the sun, making a little crescent there. Look at that! We have a huge problem. The time is 2.34 and we got a lot of big clouds coming our way and the eclipse is in about 10 minutes. Well, less than 10 minutes actually. That's not good. So this is what the sun looks like now. It is 2.35 for about 7 minutes away from the total, total we're going to see 81% of the sun cover it, but we got some bad news. We got some big clouds coming our way, so let's hope that they pass quickly enough so we can see it 
before 2.42 p.m. This could be the last shot of the sun before it goes behind clouds when it does the 81, does the part of the eclipse. We don't know that for sure. We hope, we're hoping for the best here. If you look at my camera, you can see some of the sort of, oh, that's thunder. Oh, crap. It's coming from over there, and I think it's going north of us. I mean, south of us, sorry. Okay, so what time is it? It's 2.38. Okay, oh so my god. Once that cloud goes by, we'll take a picture and we'll Wait a second, did the cloud clear up? Yeah. Wait a second, it did! Oh, we might be in time, guys! What time is it? 2.38? Oh my god, we actually might be in time now. Yes, let's go! Alright. This may do it, because I think we got a storm over there. Yeah, they're going to put pop thunderstorms today, but we'll see. We are officially one minute away from 81% of the sun covering, uh, sun being covered by the moon. So it is now 2.41 right now, and it was a perfect shot of the sun. No clouds at all. It is now 2.41. Sarah is now snapping pictures of it. We are 20 seconds away from the two minute period of 81% of the sun being covered by the moon. It is now 2.42. Let's see what we got. Looking through the, oh my God, it looks beautiful. I got, I got Steve works on the phone. We're attempting to see, oh, we got a little bit. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes. So it is now 2.44, so probably about 30 seconds from now it's gonna end. But we got it. We got it on my phone. And we, we, we just got it. We got ton of pictures from Sarah and just in time. Good thing we're not farther south because there's a big storm over there. Well done. Well done. Oh my gosh, look at this. The shadows are literally crescents. Whoa. That is cool. I think we are done with viewing the eclipse because it's the time is. 2.48 right now. I think we are pretty much done, but we got some pretty cool pictures as seen, but that was amazing. And the fact that you can see all these shadows on the moons here, you see, it's just so gnarly. Look at this. You can literally see all, you can see the moon shadows all like right here. That is amazing. It's amazing what, it's amazing what clips can do. But uh, at one point you could see with, with regular sunglasses that you could see like a little bit of a crescent, crescent we're looking at just a glimpse at it. But that was amazing. Just what a day. I mean, wow. We were pretty fortunate to get a view of a view at 2.42 p.m. of 81% of the moon covering the sun right here because there's not a cloud in the sky where we are, but down south, unfortunately those people, they got, they got a big, a huge clutter for them because it looks like there'll be a storm forming. But wow, just what luck. Because like before two, before that, like a ton of clouds over us, but then they kind of dissipated away. And I guess, we got this awesome, nice view at 2.42. So that's gonna be it of the video. Thanks for watching. And hope you enjoyed this awesome, awesome video of, of the Solar Eclipse 2017.